सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम सम कॉम्बिनेशन सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आउट सो वी आर गिवन टू इंटीजियर एर ए एंड बी ऑफ साइज एन अ सम कॉम्बिनेशन इज मेड बाई एडिंग वन एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम एर ए एंड अनदर एलिमेंट फ्रॉम एर ए बी रिटर्न द मैक्सिमम के वैलिड सम कॉम्बिनेशन फ्रॉम ऑल द पॉसिबल सम कॉम्बिनेशन ओके सो वी आर गिवन टू एरेज एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द मैक्सिमम k valid combinations and we need to return the output array in a non increasing order okay so let's say my array was 3 comma 2 and 1 comma 4 now what are the possible sums that you can make right so you can make 3 plus 4 which is going to be 7 and 4 plus 2 which is going to be 6 again 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 and 3 plus 1 is going to be 4 so out of all these four combinations what are the two maximum combinations Because our k is going to be two, so our output is going to be seven comma six, right? Because seven comma six is going to be the maximum sum that we can form from this array. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. The expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n log n, and the expected space complexity for the same is going to be order of n. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. Let's discuss the problem in more detail. My array A is one, four, two, and three. And my b is two, five, one, and six. Now, how can we get the maximum combination sums possible? So basically, you can iterate on this array, and for one, you can iterate on all of these elements of the array, right? And what we can do? We can generate all the sums. So one plus two is going to be three. Five plus one is going to be six. One plus one is going to be two, and one plus six is going to be seven. Similarly, you can generate all the sums possible for each of the numbers, right? And you can store that in a vector kind of thing, and you can sort it out, right? So let's say I make a vector of int answer and store all the sums. Now, what we can do? We can sort this vector in decreasing order, right? So whatever be the maximum sum will be appearing first, and we can take those k. Possible sum combination. Basically, the index says from zero to k minus one of this answer vector will be storing the maximum sums among all the possible sums. So we can take that, and that is going to be my answer. But this is going to be a brute force approach. Why? Because we will be using a for loop for both the arrays. So that is going to take me order of n square time. And since we will be storing all the sum possibles, so total sum possibles will also be going to be n square so our space complexity is also going to be n square so this is the brute force approach by which we can solve our problem like if you observe our problem statement in the problem it is written that we need to find k valid sum combinations so whenever it is written like k valid sum combinations or k combinations possible try to think of priority queues because in main generally in priority queue problems this letter is written which is k so you can think of priority queue Now let's see how can we implement priority queue into this problem. So let's say my array is like this, three comma two, and b is like this, one comma four. Now we can sort both the arrays. So let's say we sort a. A becomes two comma three. B becomes one comma four. Now what will be the maximum sum possible out of these two? I know we can take both of them because three will indicate the maximum element from array a. And b will indicate the maximum element from array b, right? So we can take both of them, and we can make a priority queue, and we can push seven comma one comma one into our priority queue. ठीक है? And we will also be requiring a set. Why? We will see in some time. ठीक है? So since one comma one we have already visited, so we will be putting that into our set. Now. we will be doing this step for the first time okay now we will be running our while loop for k times because we need the valid k combinations possible okay we can make our operations for k times only no need to do operations further and the next time what we will be doing we will be taking this out of our priority queue and we know 7 is going to be our maximum sum so can't we store that 7 into our answer vector right so let's store 7 into our answer vector Now the next time one comma one, we take this index and we will try to make a valid combinations out of these two, right? 
so why we are doing this i will let you know in some time so see 2 comma 3 tha 1 comma 4 tha 3 comma 4 se humne already bana liya and 2 comma 4 right we use this in order to make our next combinations theek hai why let's say our array is like this 3 3 4 and 1 2 9 right so first of all we took this two now the next time it might also happen na? like these two can make the maximum combination possible for the next time or these two can make the maximum combination possible right every time this will not be the case now like we will be trying the in elements index wise that, that might be possible 3 comma 9 is the next greater sum as you can see 13 comma 12 right so we will try to make a combinations from 9 comma 3 as well right so that's why we will be trying to make a combination from 2 comma 3 so basically let's say my index is x comma y what we will be doing we will be trying to make a combination from index x comma y minus 1 or x minus 1 comma y right so diagonally so next time let's make a combination out of let's say 3 comma 4 we already took so let's make a combination of 4 comma 2 so next time let's say we make a combination for 4 comma 2 the index for this is going to be 0 the index for this is going to be 1 right also since 0 comma 1 was not present in our set that's why we have made that otherwise we will not be making that because it might be possible like the next time basically uh, let's say my array is a comma b comma c and d comma e comma f right it might be possible like when we popped out e we made a combination with a right now the next time it might be possible that you popped out a and you are trying to make a combination with a so why we are doing that no need to do that because we have already made a combination so in order to optimize our approach we are using a set here right now see so we have made a combination from 4 comma 2 now it might also be possible like we can make the combination from 3 comma 1 right so in that case our answer is going to be nothing but 4 comma this index is going to be 1 and this index is going to be 0 so let's push 1 comma 0 into our set now the next time since we have made this combinations so next time we will be popping out 6 comma 0 comma 1 is 6 going to be your maximum sum right for the basically second maximum sum why because you know priority queue stores the element in a decreasing order so 6 comma 0 comma 1 will be present at our top right so now can we go below this index no can we go below this index yes we can go so we will try to make a combination from 0 comma 0 okay so our answer vector contains a 6 okay now if you observe like for 6 was made through 4 comma 2 right now we can make a combination from 2 comma 1 right so let's make a combination from 2 comma 1 okay our array was 2 3 and 1 4 so 2 comma 4 se humne 2 comma 1 se humne combination bana liya 3 aa gaya hamara yahan pe and 0 comma 0 aa gaya theek hai and was it possible to go below this yes for the case 0 comma 0 so we have already made that so no need to do any operations now we have iterated for k equal to two times right and if you observe our answer vector contains the maximum valid sum combinations okay so the summary is that basically first of all sort both the arrays okay push the maximum element okay maximum sum into our priority queue and store the indexes as well in the priority queue as well as set okay now we will be trying to make combinations from let's say if we have points x comma y we will be trying to make combinations from x comma y minus 1 or x minus 1 comma y right and in the end when we are done with the k iterations i know we have will be having k maximum valid sum so we can push that into our answer vector and we can return that answer vector so things will be more easy when you will see the implementation so let's see the implement so first of all we have taken an answer vector we will be sorting both the arrays we will be taking a priority queue of type pair of intent basically this will store the sum and this will store the indexes from both the arrays right now set of pair of int comma int comma s basically it's 
basically we are doing an optimization so basically here we will be pushing back the last elements of both the vectors because it will be maximum among them so uh, that is going to be the sum this is our indexes and we can store that indexes into our set now what will be the first element that is going to be pq dot top but pq dot top will be a type of pair of int comma pair of intent now the sum we can easily get using the first element of that priority queue the x is going to be p dot second dot first the y is going to be p dot second dot second and we can push that sum into our answer vector because that is going to be the maximum at that point of time basically what the element present at the top we will be popping it out so after that we will be checking for the x minus 1th and yth combination so we have done that we will first of all check whether it is not present in the set right then only we will be doing operations so push that into our priority queue and insert that into our set similarly uh, here from i comma j we have made a combination of i minus 1 comma j so from i comma j we can also make a combination for i comma j minus 1 so we have done that right and in the end we can return our answer so maximum so here maximum we will be taking n log of n time because we are sorting both the arrays now these operations will run for k time so that is going to be k log of n because you know for priority queue that takes a order of log n time for insertion as well as uh, popping it out takes a order of one time right? but insertion takes a order of log n time right and we will be iterating for k time so that is going to be approximately k log of n and uh, you have used a set and a priority queue so in worst case maximum uh, we will be using the set for n times so basically the set will be taking order of n space in worst case so i hope you have understood the explanation and if you have any doubts write it down in the comment and if you don't know about priority queues i have already taught that do check the link in the pinned comments and, and understand about priority queues first and then solve this problem your concepts will be crystal clear okay that's my promise to you do like this video if you have understood subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys